I got three MacBooks here. MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. I forgot which one is which. Oh, M2 Pro, M1 Max, and M2 Max. These two are supposed to have the new Wi-Fi 6E support, and this one has Wi-Fi 6. So this video is about that. But first, I wanted to make an admission. I'm guilty. Let me show you something. Now, you might think that I have my stuff together uh, when it comes to networking, but I don't. This is what my network rack looks like, and I'm deeply, deeply ashamed. I've switched the Unify system from Ubiquity, and um, yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's been great. It's working well without me interfering or touching it for years. Got lots of dust and spider webs here, but apparently I don't have it set up ideally, right? So what I'm about to show you, let's go back there. What I'm about to show you is just a relative measurement between my machines and how I will see an improvement in my own house without doing a whole network upgrade. Now I did upgrade one bit of gear, this right here. I have a couple of these throughout the house. They are the older kind that don't support Wi-Fi 6E. This one is the Enterprise version. Enterprise 6. And this one supports 6E. Since the new MacBooks support 6E, I thought, well, it's time to get something that'll work with them. So I've set that up, created a separate network for this, and these machines are connected to that network. So I've limited the network to only have five gigahertz uh, band and the six gigahertz band. I've eliminated the 2.4 altogether from this. So this one is connected to the five and these two are connected to the six. Let's take a look. First thing I'm gonna do is use iPerf. I'm gonna set one of these up as the server, this one. iPerf 3-S will start listening on port 5201. And now I'm going to ping, or not ping, I'm gonna use iPerf to connect from this machine to that machine as a client. So let's have a look at what kind of numbers we're gonna get. And I know some of you are gonna laugh at me because some of you are getting much higher speeds than this already in your network, but this is what I've been dealing with and I wanna see some kind of improvement. So right now I've got uh, 209, 208 megabits per second. It's okay, it's not bad, but that's what we got. Now just to give you an idea of what I would get if I were to connect this through ethernet. Let me show you that. I'm gonna connect my hub and I'll link to that model of the dock down below. This is the uh, OWC dock that I've been using for a number of years, which has an ethernet cable connected to it. So now I'm gonna be wired, not wireless. So let's take a look at that. All right, when I'm wired, I'm getting speeds like 890, 953, 945. Uh, so in the mid 900s average, makes sense. I have a gigabit network at home, that's the limit. One day, maybe I'll do a 10 gigabit, but not yet. So I'll unplug that. Now let's take a look at what the new Macs are going to provide for me. So I'm gonna run iPerf on this machine, which is the MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip. It has Wi-Fi 6E support. Let's go. Okay, and here you can see that the speeds are considerably higher. Uh, we're getting 700s, yeah, high 600s, 700s, somewhere around there. So not as fast as a wired connection, but for wireless, for my house, this is pretty good. I also wanted to do a test, just a regular internet speed test. I'm gonna stop the server and let's go for this pretty one by Ookla. Uh, and I'm gonna do these one at a time. So first let's start with my older machine, the MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. Yeah. There we go. For some of you, this is low. For some of you, this is high. I have a gigabit connection to my ISP. So this is what I'm getting. 369, 393, not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with those numbers. It gets the job done and I upload a lot of videos, as you know. Here we go with the new M2 MacBook Pro. And here we're getting much higher numbers already. We're getting into the 800 range. This is even faster than the iPerf that I did from one machine to another. I don't know why. I'm not a network guru. I'm not an expert. If you are and you know why this is happening, I'd appreciate a comment down below as would probably everybody else that's watching this. But these are actually really nice numbers. This is the highest I've ever seen it right here. 820, 901 for upload. Finally, let's do this one machine right here. It's the M2 Max MacBook Pro. I'm expecting pretty similar results to the M2 Pro. Wow, that's even higher. So this is the highest I've ever seen it. 831, 938. Now just for reference, I wanna do a wired connection and a wired test to see what that'll give us. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. This is a wired test this time. Let's go. <laughs> Can a wired test beat this wireless test? What's going on with this world? I don't know, like how is it possible that the wireless speed is gonna be faster than the wired speed? Come on, wired. I know you can do better than that. Squeeze it out, squeeze it out. Uh, oh, there we go. 939, 940, 941. <laughs> 
<laughs> the wired connection beats it out by 3.3 megabits per second. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that increase. I know it's not ideal and it's not the fastest uh, that some people are expecting from Wi-Fi 6E. A welcome improvement to have that available in the new MacBooks. There's more tests coming, folks. If you're not subscribed yet, it's free. Consider subscribing and do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, really. Have a good day, folks, and I will see you in the next video.